Hey, you see that? That's our first international arrest in Canada. Oh, you see that? That's our arrest in our 42nd state in Delaware. YouTube censoring channels like this left and right. If you want to keep this movement alive, consider joining locals in the pinned comment. You can see all of these uncensored, no filter, for only $7 a month. And you can keep this movement alive in spite big tech. Choice is yours. You can support the group that has an arrest in 42 different states and two countries. You can see catches like the fire lieutenant, which I can't post publicly until after his trial. You can see all of Stinghouse content that I think is too spicy for here, plus much, much more. Contribute directly to getting these people People off the streets. Keep yourself entertained. Keep us going. Join locals. Pin comment. What's up, guys? Before this video starts, be sure to follow us on all platforms, including on Rumble, which you can find in the pin comment. Um, this platform has been giving a lot of people like us a lot of problems lately, and <clears throat> Rumble is a lot more receptive um, to free speech and whatnot. So. Be sure to follow us on Rumble. Um, any video on here, you can also find on Rumble. And if you're looking for a video and can't find it on here, it'll be on our Rumble. So be sure to follow us on Rumble in the pinned comment. Like the video. What's up? Before we get into the messages with Emily, I need to go over this real quick. In all seriousness, I know that everybody's sick of the old commercial, so here's a new one. If you're interested in buying merch, which is very comfortable, in all seriousness, get the merch here. We have all new stuff, including sweatshirts, shorts, t-shirts, maybe even hats. Check it out. Pin comment. GordonFlowers.com. This channel is a group of investigative journalists who make educational documentaries showcasing and educating society, especially parents and legal guardians, about potential scenarios that result from young people and adults conversating online if left unchecked. We conduct thorough interviews with consenting adults in an attempt to understand their perspective on why they partake in these conversations online with people that are not of age. The goal of the interviews in these videos and the videos themselves is to gain an understanding of the perspective of the individual being interviewed so parents and the rest of society can be educated and aware of potential thought processes and desires of adults online to unsupervised persons not of age. These videos are not to cyberbully, harass, degrade, accuse, or threaten any individuals partaking in the interview process or in the video itself. We do not condone any of these actions. These videos are strictly educational and we grant full permission for academia, which is any classroom setting or in scholarly papers, to show or cite our videos. To ensure that these videos are strictly used for educational purposes, we strictly adhere to YouTube's community guidelines, such as not revealing someone's personally identifable information, in other words, PII. YouTube defines personally identifiable information as their home address, email addresses, signing credentials, phone numbers, passport number, medical records, or bank account information. We thoroughly look at and edit our videos to ensure that none of this information about any individual is shown in our videos. To ensure extra privacy for each person that is a subject of an interview in any of our videos, as of September 1st, 2022, to thoroughly comply with YouTube's harassment and bullying policy, there will be no mention or information about the last name or first name of any person interviewed in our videos. Due to potentially illegal activities discussed in our videos, law enforcement in the respective jurisdiction we conduct these interviews in is notified of each interview and video filmed by us. We are not accusing any individual interviewed of being guilty or committing a crime. That is the job of law enforcement. We are not vigilantes and we do not condone vigilantism or vigilante behavior, such as taking the law into your own hand or not notifying law enforcement when a suspected crime takes place. We are investigative journalists. Trigger warning. Some of what can be discussed in these videos can be sensitive to some, emotional or stressful. The only goal of these videos is to educate the public. At the end of each video, as of September 1st, 2022, there will be an educational portion at the end to discuss what was talked about in the video and to discuss what people can take from that video and learn from and tell others about. Our goal here is to bring awareness and educate the public. Now the video will start. I don't even know why I set her as a friend because, first of all, she's really too young. Uh -huh. How old I is mean, she? She's 11, according to what she says in, on Facebook. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean... Yeah, it just kind of... That kind of happened. I mean, she said she was 11, and the conversation continued. Yeah. Well, what, what happened? I don't know, I'm stupid. Mm hmm That's my daughter. Oh, okay. Saved my life. I was... Oh, okay. And, uh, some people talking to me, baby. About what? It's up to you if you want to say it, man. I just want to keep it between us, but if, she want, if you want to tell her, that's cool. Well, I don't think I'm going anywhere, am I? I'm no cop, but I think it's important we do talk about this because okay, we all know yeah, it's sad. Yeah, I do agree. It's just something that me and him need to talk about. Yeah. I, yeah. You tell me you live, you're living in my house. It's really important. 
I don't think she'll judge you, man. She seems pretty non-judgmental, I think. I'm worried about him. He's not, he's not in a... I'm not bad. I've been real bad. To be and honest. I worry about yeah. his mental and physical health right now. So, what's going on, Dad? Yeah, she's not judgmental, dude. I love you. Maybe minus the judge part, but definitely not judgmental. What is it about? It's about one of my friends that I accepted on Facebook. Turns out they're not old, old enough. What did I tell you about all these profiles? Yeah. Well, this wasn't necessarily a This was just kind of a girl he was talking to. Did he know how old she was? Yep. Yep, was told the first message. But I'm not being inappropriate. I'm saying things like, you know, study and learn things in school and... Did, Dad, you had to have said something inappropriate, believe me here. Well... Yeah, you're, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, Matt, let me go get my wife. I'm sorry. She's behind you. Rolling hard. I mean, we just want to we just want to have a talk with him. I mean, like, you know, I, I get he's, you know, I, I get I get what's going on. Your phone is getting like, no more Facebook. Yeah, I think that's probably a good idea. But like, yeah, absolutely. And I'm filing power of attorney over you. This is Dad. I'm not doing this again. Okay. Not judgment. Yeah. At all. Yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't blame you. Thank you, I appreciate it. No, thanks, dude. I don't blame you. Yeah, I mean, you are living in her house, man. Well, I'm paying the bills, too. Yeah, but it's, come on, she owns it, man. Yeah. I, I mean, I mean, she, she, she loves you. Yes, she does. She may be in a scissoring, but she's not going to cut you off, you know? So, I mean, all right. So, basically, you know, she knows she was 11. And, you know, it seems like, you know, it seems like you're lonely. I mean, what, 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 why'd the conversation continue? I don't know. I, I asked if she was the police. Yeah. Right off the muscle. And, and something about her was suspicious. I thought that, you know, the police were involved. Mm hmm And because she's had several profiles deleted. Right. I said, well, damn, if she's doing something, it's causing all this to happen. What? What profiles has she, or what profiles have you seen that were deleted, like on Instagram or? Yeah, that's what she said. Okay. I don't know. Oh, you don't have Instagram? I don't have anything but Facebook. Okay. Period. Do you have like Telegram or? No, I have Facebook. Period. No Twitter, no nothing? No. Just Facebook? Okay. No, just Facebook. Okay. So you said, you know, I'm old enough to be your grandfather. Is it going to be a problem for you? No, I'm old enough to be her great grandfather. I've got grandkids older than her. Yeah. Okay. I got a 17-year-old grandson right now who's just got his first job, and I'm so proud of him. Oh, does he live here in Dallas? No, he lives, uh, God, I don't even know where to, Indiana, I think he is. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Do they, do they, like, love you and stuff? You see him a lot, or? No, I, I keep in touch on Facebook. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but if I don't have Facebook, I ain't going to be able to keep in touch with my children. Well, they can get your phone number. I, they got my phone number. Well, yeah. So, I mean, I would talk phone. to her about just basically, you know, restricting your Facebook use or... Well, I have to do that. I mean, no matter what you do or try to do, I... Can, you know, people have ways of trying to sneak around things that they ain't supposed to be doing. Do you think you would try to do that? No. Okay. I'm, not, I'm telling you, son, I'm at a point right now... Maybe it was just like, I just didn't give a f at that point in time. Just nothing to lose, really? I mean, what am I losing? I spent five years in jail. For? For a charge I didn't do. They accused you of doing it? I asked my brother, gave him $4,300 to come get me out of jail and to pay my bond. Uh-huh. He forgot about it. It was my money once it hit his hand. This was in what state? Tennessee. Oh, what they accuse you of? Uh, watching child. Really? Yeah. But I went to a nudist site. Mm hmm. Nudist site, not a child site. Oh, and there just happened to be children on there? Yeah. Okay. Because you're looking at family nudists. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. So, whole family was in there. so you just came across naked children. You weren't trying no, to. Well, they I mean, did not. Well, well, they Google did that to me. Right. So, so, so they made they made you look at it pretty much. They gave it to me. Right. Right. You weren't looking for that, but you just happened no, to. No, I was not. But you just happened that to. That was not what I. I'm telling you, I was in family nudist. Family nudist. Next thing okay. I know, the boom. Here comes this boom. Oh, okay. So okay. You, you weren't there to look at the kids. The kids were just kind of there. Yeah. Okay. I see. I, I, that's not my priority. I, I'm 72. Well, what year I was? I don't have a relationship. Haven't had one for 10 years. Yeah. My wife. Five days after I got arrested. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, it kind of destroyed me. Yeah, I can. It messes with your brain. Mm -hmm. I've been with her for 38 years. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden now, I don't have a wife anymore. Yeah, be your best friend? Not really. No. Uh -huh. we, fought, we fought a lot. Uh, we had a lot of disagreements like most people do. But uh, in, the end, in the end, I loved her. Yeah. I mean, I mean, she couldn't do anything to run my old ass away. I would stay with her anyway. So, yeah. What year did they accuse you of uh, looking at this child? Let's go back seven years, you'll get it. So this was in 2016 or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, what, what year did you get out of prison? Uh, 22. Okay. I did five calendar years. In Huntsville? No. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Five calendar You think you learned something, huh? Yeah. That dumb ass. It's all right. No, it ain't. Well, it happens, man. I get, I get it. I get, I get being lonely. I mean, I don't think you're a bad guy. I just think you were lonely and it just kind of happened. No, this was stupid. Okay. Why, why I even started it beyond me, I don't even know. I mean, it started off, it seemed like you got, you were just caring and just kind of inquiring about her. Or... Right. Because I'm concerned. Yeah. I'm concerned about her because of the people that she's meeting on on the internet, and they're not boys, they're men. Mm -hmm. I asked her about, do you not have any 11-year-old friends? Oh, they're all on Instagram. No, they're not. Instagram is where you got banned because you were talking to grown men. So I mean, what, what? So what kind of happened? I mean, huh? you, you were like looking out for her, caring about her. Then it kind of turned into like modeling. Who suggested? That, you said here. She who? said that she wanted to be a model. Mm -hmm. And I said, modeling is difficult. Mm -hmm. And I said, there's more than one kind of model. What kind of model do you want to be? Like there's hand models, there's feet models, there's hair models. It goes on and on and on. So. I'm sitting here asking myself, <coughs> in the hell would you want to be a model, first of all? Who suggested that? Yeah, you said, who suggested that you become a model? What do you know about modeling? Do you know that you could be too short to model? Yes. Have you talked to your mom and dad about this? Right. And uh, I didn't even know her dad had until like the third or fourth conversation. Yeah. And what she's doing, she's looking for a father figure. That's what she's doing. And that's all she's doing. She ain't trying to hook up with nobody, but she don't know how to act appropriately. It's like she has a learning disability. Yeah, I mean, did the conversation kind of cross a line, you think, or? Yeah, it did, and I felt guilty about it and told her so. Mm -hmm. I was wrong for doing that. What happened? I, su I suggested she show me something. You know, you want to be a model, show me something. Hey, I'm not like, you know, I'm, I don't, I'm not here to judge you for anything, man. Right. Like, what, what did you ask you to, what did you ask her to show you? Her back. Her back? Yeah. Okay, and is that like her full, her full backside? I didn't ask her to this road. I said, I want to see you back. That means you walk away from me, period. Okay, did you ask to see it like with clothes on or bare, bare back or? I I don't really remember, okay. to be honest with you. Okay, because I... But I know that, I, I feel like I might have crossed the line. Okay. And I don't I don't approve of it, and I think it was inappropriate, and I told her I, I thought so. 
and then I was wrong for talking to her. Yeah, because you were showing her the plants, but yeah, I, I think here in the in the on the phone calls and in the messages, I think you mentioned bareback, like basically without any clothes on. I hope not. I promise. Yeah, I do hope. Not. Be, so inappropriate. said be careful yeah okay yeah i don't want to scare you off by being old so i mean there are a lot of times where you would double text her too you know what that is oh. basically texting her two times in a row without her responding oh okay okay talk about your wife so yeah. sorry to hear about that man i mean it seems like you did what actually that's what we had in common and i told her i said we got that in common uh -huh. He just lost his father. I, I lost my wife. So do you, were you just trying to like have a bond with somebody like that? Yeah, okay. that's all. I, I mean, I wasn't trying to do nothing stupid. Mm -hmm. It just... Just kind of happened? It just stupid happened. Yeah. And I hate myself for it because I, I'm old enough to know better. Right. So, and I even told her, I said, you're young, you're not old enough to even be talking to me. Yeah, but why, why, why did the conversation keep happening? Because... I'm a dad, and I always will be. And I tried to guide and help children. I didn't mean to say but something. Got wrong. kind of carried away. Yeah, but I, done, I shouldn't have done that, mm -hmm. and I feel bad about that. Yeah, I mean, you asked her to send you a selfie. Huh? You asked her to send you a selfie. I wasn't asking for nothing new. No, I know. Well, not here. And you said if you were older, we could have some fun. Do you know what I mean now? Yeah. yeah. Did you just find her like cute or something like that? Just. Oh, I think she is cute. Okay. Okay. I mean, she's a beautiful child. Right. But the problem is with being pretty like that, you're gonna attract the wrong people. Do you think you're one of the wrong people she attracted? I don't think she's. No, because I'm telling you, I tried to talk to her and find out what was going on. Mm hmm. I was more interested in things like that. Right. I mean, I think that was your intention at first, but it, it kind of turned into something. It, it didn't last. It stopped. Mm -hmm. Because I, I, I knew I was wrong when I stopped it. And I even told her it was wrong. Right. So, so you said, shame on you, baby girl. I'm sorry about my bad behavior, but something tells me that you like it. Yeah, because she keeps teasing me. How did she tease you? By, by things that she was saying. She was saying stuff behind that. Like she said, you said, why and what are you willing to do? She said, anything. Is anything. It? There you go. Okay, so that's her teasing you? No, that's her being a tease, period. It's okay. not me. It's just anybody that you're talking to and you say something like that. You don't put yourself out there and commit yourself to saying, I will do anything. Yeah, and it, you know, of course it takes two to do it. Like, she, she was the one talking to you as well, you know. And I'm trying to explain to her she's too young to be on the internet talking to men like that because that's what happens. Right. You know, stupid happens. Right, yeah, and it takes two, yeah. two to tango, of course. Yeah. Um, and you said, what if someone asked you to take your clothes off, all of them, would you? And you said, what makes me think that someone has already asked you to do that? What makes me think that you like it? Did you think she wanted to do something like that or something? No, I or? think she's done it. I don't know why, but you know, like I said, she got banned from Instagram for a reason. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what that reason is. I didn't dwell on it, I didn't push her for information on it. Mm -hmm. But she said all of her friends were on Instagram. Right. So you said you know some models do nudes and a lot of time they share dressing rooms. Well, yeah. Think about how you're going to answer my question and tell me later what they were going to do. <coughs> okay. So you said, what are you feeling about that? Could you show someone your backside? Anyway, let me know what you think about it. Do not, do you not have any friends that are your age? If you do, are they girls or boys? And you said, yes, they have. And she said, yes, they have Instagram. And then you said, what do you know about and what do you want to know? You are 11, so I am sure that you have heard something about it. So what was, what was going on there? I don't know. I really don't. Were you just kind of carried away? I'm not even sure I was carried away. I was just talking. Mm-hmm. 
And, and I'm not treating her like a baby. I'm trying to treat her like she's becoming an adult. Okay, so, so you were just kind of trying to mentor her right. and guide her? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm not trying to do nothing. I can't do nothing. Right. I'll be honest with you, I have not had in 10 years. Mm -hmm. Period. With anyone. So I ain't really trying to do nothing. And, and, I'm, and I'm trying to tell people this and nobody will listen to me. I am. Mm-hmm. So you asked her to take a picture of her backside, and you said, where can you go? That's private. Can you take a picture of it without your face being in the picture? Would you, or are you scared to do it? And what did she do? She said, take a pic of what? Did she send you a picture of her backside? No. Okay. I didn't ask for it. I said, can you take a picture of it without your face being in the picture? And she didn't send it. Okay. And you said, why would you take the picture and not share? Yeah. Okay. I mean, were you just kind of curious to see if she would share it or not? No. Okay. I was hoping that she wouldn't, to be honest with you. So, no. Well, you kept asking her, are you going to share, are you going to share? I didn't ask her that many times, yeah. said, are you going to share? And then he said, why would you take the picture and not share? Okay. I mean, if you were just kind of curious, I mean, you know, because like I said, there's modeling and there's like being creepy. I think you were just curious about modeling. I mean, is that what it was? Well, she keeps saying that she wants to be a model, and I'm just keeps saying, well, you got to realize there's a lot of things involved in modeling that you really don't want to do. Mm hmm Especially at your age. And then you said here, I do like backsides and can't help myself. Well, I'm that's a woman. I ain't talking about kids. I'm talking about women. Well, I mean, I think, are you, are you lonely enough to just want anyone in ge general? No. Okay. No. I'm glad that you were taking I your... I do have women that I talk to. Okay. In fact, that's probably one of them now, bothering the out of them. <laughs> you said everything you do is because you want to do it. If it feels good, then do it. If it doesn't, no matter what, I still love you. Yeah. Okay. So were you leaving that decision up to her to send that to you or not? Or? No. No? I'm trying to make her think for herself. Okay. I want you to think about what you want to do, not do what other people are telling you to do. And we had a discussion about that. Mm -hmm. I was trying to help her with understanding you are the one that has all the rights. You say no. You don't let somebody else tell you what to do, ever. Okay. You don't give a damn what. And that's in there somewhere. Yeah. And he said, yes, I do love you, not just words. So did you just care about her that much to, like, love her? Like, not be in love, but just, like, care for her that much? I care for her. She okay. lost her dad, and I lost my wife. We were sharing that. Mm -hmm. That emotion. Yeah. That's the only emotion I've shared with her because we both lost somebody that we cared about. Okay. And she don't have anybody to help her. She says she's got a new stepfather. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if she does or doesn't, but she, she said he was a good man. And I'm glad to hear it. Maybe he can help direct her. So I'm just curious, because like the sexual talk really started after y'all bonded over the uh, loss of your someone close. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I don't think you're like into kids or anything like that. I just think you're lonely. And you just started to bond with someone who had a common thing. I think that's all it was. I don't think it was because of her age. Unless I'm wrong. I mean, if it was because of her age, you can tell me, but I don't think it was. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you think just there was kind of a, a... I was thinking there was a bond. Okay. And that's all I was thinking. I was thinking I could help her because I'm, I'm a man who's supposed to know how to act. Yeah. And I have three daughters that, you know, I love to death. I've got one in jail right now. Yeah. I, well, can't, I can't tell you what it's, oh yeah I can. And she was, and I don't think it's, I think it's inappropriate to arrest put him in jail. Yeah, I need help, not trouble. Help. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, I've always thought that was wrong. Yep, 100%. Yeah. No point, they're not gonna get better just throwing them in jail. You know, I mean, all, all you're doing is you're teaching them to, the, okay, you, you get high and we're, we're, we're will lock you up and you stay in the jail until you get over it. Well, no, you never get over it. Right. She was on. Oh, okay. Yeah.
hard one. Right? <clears throat> so, so do do you think it got sexual because of just the emotional bond rather than just a physical attraction, or? I'm not, I have not really seen her physically. So you think it was just all emotional that got you yeah. like this? Okay, yeah. okay. So, so it really wasn't a rage. It was just you had an emotional connection with a female. Then the right. inevitable happened. Okay. So you said, still, I want to see the backside, but like I said, it's your choice. So I think I think this is pretty clear. You're asking to see your backside. Well, then I say it's your choice. Okay. So you were leaving it up to her. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. That's what I was trying to get at earlier. <laughs> yeah. And that's what I was trying to do is teach her that you know you had the right. Mm -hmm. You can't let somebody come in and tell you. She said she'd do anything. No, you don't tell people you'll do any damn thing. So you're I big on consent. Yes, absolutely. Okay. okay, it's respectable. Yeah. So I'm trying to teach you the right tools, and, and I mean. Right, because there are some bad people online that truly just try to take advantage, and I don't think you were you that guy. It. Right, right. I know it, and I'm trying to tell her. Oh man, you ain't seen yet. They ain't come out yet. They're everywhere. Yeah, they're like the Viet Cong. You see their foxholes. Oh no, the worst. There's a lot more of them. Yeah. <laughs> and we got those camel spot. Uh, Camouflage, the ones that eat mosquitoes. We got thousands of them up. Well, let me sit here. I have to ask this question. I know what you are. I know you're young, but do you even know what sexy is? And she said, "Yes, I know what that means." And he said, "Do you think you are sexy?" I'm asking because you want to be a model. She said, "Not really." Do you think I am? And you said, "I think you are beautiful." That's beautiful, not sexy. Okay, so just like. That's saying that you. She's got good characteristics. Okay. And, and she's a good kid. Mm hmm And I hope the hell nothing happens to her because the way she's going, you got mosquitoes. The way she's going, somebody's going to take advantage. Somebody's going to show up. She said something about me showing up, and I said, I'm not. Hell to the f***. No, they ain't never going to <coughs> ain't gonna come to your house. Yeah. yeah. So what uh what characteristics about her were beautiful you think? Her smile, her eyes. Okay. She's got naturally beautiful eyes. If you could just and that's generally all you ever see when she's talking. To right, you. right. It's her eyes. You don't see anything else. Mm -hmm. She's covered up. And got her face covered. She's got the yeah. dog she holds all the time. Was there anything about her like? You know, she's in a selfie. Was there anything about her body that was made you just think she was what, beautiful, what? or huh? I never saw her body. You didn't see a selfie of her. No. Uh -uh. So you didn't see the. I mean, she sent you one selfie, I believe. Face. Face. Okay. Yeah. You That's didn't... a selfie. Okay. To me, I mean, maybe y'all got an idea, another idea about what a selfie is. A selfie to me is your face. Okay. Or a selfie is something you can you can send clothes. A lot of people do. I mean, I send you stuff that ain't going to be naked. I'm going to be sitting there with, with my hat on and um, all my shit on. Mm -hmm. that, and I'm going to give you stuff with my face. You're going to see my face. Right. So you said here, I still want to see your backside. Okay. Was that you getting carried away there? I don't know if I was getting carried away. I'm just, I'm telling you, I've, I've suffered a lot. Yeah. In the recent years. Yeah, I know. It's loneliness that makes you do this. I know. Yeah, but it's... You got to check <coughs> yourself. You can't let it up. You know, so I, I tell, I'm, I'm teaching her one thing and I'm doing another. So... So you said, are you going to let me see it? And she said, if we video call, is that okay? And you said, then I will want to see it all, including the front. Think you can handle that? And then she said, what do you mean by the front? Like my girl part? And he said, yes, baby girl. And she says, so like, she says, so like my And he, you say, I see you're going to have a problem with it, so think about it. Okay. Because I did, see, and I said to myself at that point, what the f are you saying? Stop. Did you feel bad about asking to see a pic yeah, of her? Absolutely, okay. without a doubt, yeah. Why did you want to see that pic? I did. Why'd you ask? I don't know. I really don't. I can't, I can't explain that one. Okay. It's stupid. You don't think it's the emotional bond that made you do I it? I don't or? know if it is or isn't. All I know is that I shouldn't have asked the question. Okay. That's what I know. And I've done everything in my power to rectify it since. Mm-hmm. 
So then y'all video called on the video call, yeah. and we have the recording of it. But I don't, I don't want to play it, and you know, I don't want you to go through that again. But you said, pull down your pants and show me real quick. You remember that? It might have happened. Uh, it might have happened. Well, I can play the recording and refresh <laughs> your memory. I mean, did it happen or not? Okay. Do you remember that it kind of happening, kind of being stupid and asking that? Yeah. Okay. And I don't want to remember it. Doing the best I can to forget. Okay. So pull down your pants and show me. I mean, did that just mean show your flash of you real quick? No. Pull down your pants and show me. What are you, what are you trying to see when she pulls down her pants? Well, generally people wear underwear, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't expect her not to be wearing underwear. So you want to see her underwear in that instance? Basically. Okay, yeah. okay. I wasn't asking to see her naked at that point. I was asking this is, you know, class me, you know, kind of silly thing. Mm -hmm. More silly than it was real. Did you ask her to touch herself? Not that I'm aware of, but I don't think so. So not in the messages? It's not here? I'm not about to pull it up right now? I, I don't know. I don't okay. think so. So here you said, thank you, sweetie. That means a lot to me. I need to know if you were going to have a problem with touching yourself. What? She said, I never tried before. And you said, why? It feels good. And you said, would you try it for me? She said, try touching myself. And you said, yes, do you know where? She said, no. And you said, at the top of your place, at the top of your there is a place, you know it is the right place if it feels good. You said, it kind of sticks out. And you asked, are you doing it? Then he double texted, does it feel good? And then she said, I guess on the call, guide me. And you said, you about ready? You know you, know you are going to have a, to show me so I can guide you. So pretty much asking her to show you touching herself. What was going on there, man? I think it's because you have a bond with this girl already and she's a female. I don't think it's because of her age, but if it's different, then you can tell me. That sounds about right, and I'm mean, stupid. Okay. That's what it is. Did how did you feel after you asked her that to touch herself? I've been feeling guilty as hell all along. Did you feel guilty after saying? Do you remember yes. saying that then? Yes. Okay. Yes, of course I'm guilty. <laughs> I missed my. In fact, I hadn't taken. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you know, you've been out of prison since 2022 and, you know, you're kind of finding yourself in this pickle again. Yeah. I mean, I think the internet's probably the issue for you, man, because the internet just shows you more and more of these girls, okay? So on Facebook, I mean, <clears throat> you know, you mentioned Emily was a tease, and I, I agree. I, I think a lot of those girls are teases. How many have tried to tease you into doing a lot of for them that were, like, underage? Since you got out. I didn't know any of them were underage. Well, there's Emily. Well, that's it. I mean, other than that, I don't know any underage women. None of them tried to message you and you didn't block them? or. Uh -uh. No. Not that I'm aware of. No. Okay. I mean, if there's anybody else, I don't know. Okay. I promise you that. Okay. <clears throat> so... So basically, 2017, you got locked up for what they say is child. Yeah. 2022, you're out. Uh, I thought it was 16. No, oh, 16. I don't know. Yeah, you tell uh, me. It, it means a, it's a difference about how much time you spent. Yep. So you are on the registry, right? Okay. Yeah. So you were talking about being earlier. Look, man, you're obviously not a bad dude. I mean, your daughter loves you enough to. You know, your daughter loves you enough to, to basically... When it came back to I can see how that happened, dude. I mean, I mean I'm I sure that messed you up. Yeah. On and on and on and on. On and on. I mean, I, it just didn't stop. Yeah. I was trying to... You think from Vietnam kind of turned you into this? Vietnam did a lot of things to me. I mean, I watched one of my best friends that I went to boot camp with. It's okay, you don't need to tell me, man.
Yeah, because I think something up, dude. Yeah. Real bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if it was truth known, I should have been 100% because I was ready to 100% in Vietnam. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, obviously this... I was 17 when I joined the Marine. Okay. So... I mean, now that I know all of this stuff, I mean, you know, I also know about, you know, what happened in 1989, too, with your daughter. The one that lives in Washington. Okay. Yeah. What happened with her? I already know, but you can, you can, you can let's just be, make sure we're on the same page here. You, you, you regret it, don't you? What? What happened with your daughter? I, the only thing I regret with her is the fact that uh, I, I didn't stay with her. Well, that's what put you on the registry. Uh huh. 1989. What? I know it already. I know that's what that's that's one of your charges, man. It's there. And you said on the phone you haven't talked to your daughter and since she was 16, and she's 50 now. That's 1989, right there. What happened with you and her, man? Why'd you do it? I didn't. That I'm aware of. Who was the minor that they said you... In 89? Yeah. I don't even know. I promise you, I do not know. Why'd you get charged with it? I didn't know I'd been charged. No, I mean, it's on your thing that you're... You've been on the registry longer than 2016. I, I'm honest. I'm being honest with you. I really didn't know. Yeah, but I mean, I didn't do any time. I mean, I could pull it up. It says you got charged with it. I didn't know I've been charged. Well, I don't know, man. I, I'm telling you, I do not know. Maybe, maybe right not. Now. So, I mean, it's it's pretty easy to see where you've been online before 2016 even, okay? I don't know. You know, you mentioned being earlier. I think online, you know, it's, it's internet stuff. It's not the end of the world, dude. It's just fantasy, whatever crap. But I think it's like a drug to some people, especially people that have... I mean, I think maybe, maybe you have a thing for underage, not because of how they look, but because of their innocence, because you've been through so much, and these innocent, sweet girls are probably refreshing to you, and they just understand you better. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out the reason why, because it's like a drug to you, man. Yeah? What do you think it is? I think it's more stupidity. More honestly. more what? Stupidity. Okay. Hey man, super Ronnie, look me in the eyes, dude. I'm not judging you, bro. You can tell me you have infants locked up in your basement right now. I wouldn't care, okay? But it's not stupid. I don't have a basement. Thank you. I know, but you know what I mean. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm gonna thank God we don't have basements. Yeah, dude. but but you know what I mean. I mean, it's it's pure stupidity. That's kind of sugarcoating what it really is, man. Yeah. You know that. What, what do you think it really is? And when, when do you think this attraction started for you? Were you, do you think you were born this way or were you born as a kid? Did Vietnam do it? How, when did you start becoming attracted to minors? I think I always have, man. Always? Yeah. Yeah. But I, so I had a hard childhood. My dad died when I was three. Okay. My mom died when I was seven and me and my brother found her in bed and I went to my house. Really? Jesus Christ. And then I left there after my mom died and went to juvenile court and the first thing they do when you're a juvenile is they beat your ass with a big paddle. Yeah. The big guy does. And then they you once they put you with the, with the group. So do you think all that from your childhood probably made you attracted to minors? Probably. Okay. Probably think. So we're talking you've been attracted to minors since the six no, since the seventies? Since you were out of Vietnam. Yeah, well, I never really pursued it because I had relationships with women. Yep. 
So. Right. So it's not exclusively miners. It's just no. It's not at all. Right. So I, I mean, when did you first start to pursue it? I mean, Emily's. I would say Emily's pursuing it. The family you were looking at was pursuing it. When did you first start to pursue this type of stuff? I'm not even sure. Has it been that long? If it has, it's okay. I don't I, care. I just don't know. Yeah. As to be honest with you, I well, really don't know. I've been trying my best to live my whole life and, and yeah, uh, trying to do the best, the right things. Well, well, well. The internet. Um, well, the internet's been around for say twenty years. Yeah. Is that did you start? Is that kind of when you started maybe to pursue it online? You, well, that would be. Uh, <clears throat> Because you got caught in 2016. I know it takes a while for these people to get caught with that type of yeah. So, what year do you think you start pursuing, maybe just seeing naked families online? Or nudity? You shouldn't be looking at it, let's just put it that way. I did, uh, 2020. 2020? You were in jail in 2020. Was I? Okay, then I wasn't doing anything. Yeah. Okay, but when the internet first came about, did you kind of take advantage of that and look at what you weren't supposed to? Yeah, I would think. Like. Uh, oh, we're gonna get eat up out here. Soon. Yeah. No, I take care of the veterans. That's why. So maybe like, do you think maybe you start to look up child pornography as soon as the internet became a thing? I was never really looking at child. Porn. I was looking at uh, news. I don't consider that okay. because news is a whole different animal. Oh, okay, okay. No, absolutely. So it's not like videos of that type, this type of stuff. They do have videos. Of nudists? Yes. Okay. But generally, they're out walking, they're, they're, they're playing games. It's, 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 it's not just, you know, it's not focusing on any one thing. It's a, it's a whole activity, a lifestyle. Yeah. Where you, you're swimming and, and you're going to the store. There's a place in France that's uh, uh, new to city. Right. That's everybody there is a nudist. So you think you've been kind of looking at just nudist stuff or yeah. I was maybe... more interested in nudism than I was in uh, uh, children or exploring anyone. Okay. So did you start looking at nudism in like when the internet first came out, like in the 90s or 2000s? Or early 2000s or the 90s? I'm not I mean, you, you, I know it didn't start in 2016. You didn't just hop on one day, then immediately right. get you. So I mean, help me help me better understand you, man. I mean, give me a ballpark number here. Like, was it when you first had a computer? Well, I didn't have a computer for a long time. When'd you get a computer? I had, and that's why I was saying in the 2000s, I didn't really have a computer. But we played a. Uh, we played our tar Atari games uh -huh. like that. We didn't have a computer. Well, when were when did you when do you think you first started looking at nudists online of adults or whatever? It had been around two thousand. Two thousand. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so like because two zeros. In the nineties, uh, I lived in Jacksonville, Florida. I didn't have a computer. So we didn't have a phone with a computer on. So 2000 is when, so you think like the year 2000, like turn of the century is when you started looking at that stuff? Yeah. Okay. So it was, so it wasn't just nude kids. It was like kids and adults, it's like a, in, in family, talking, family yeah, stuff. We're, okay. We're talking family okay. nudism, not, not kid nudism, family. Okay. How old did the, uh, how, how, old, how old did the kids range from? Like, were they just kind of of any age or what well, was yeah. it? Okay. Well, when you're a nudist, you start somewhere. Yeah. Generally, it's when you're born. Right. You know, it's, it's a lifestyle. I'm telling you, it's a lifestyle that people live. Oh, no, I'm not judging. I'm just kind of curious, like, yeah. about what it was. Okay. Well, it's a lifestyle people live. They, they don't judge other people back to Right. Because they're nude. Right. And everything they do is nude. So were the, were the parents usually, like, younger parents, like, in their 30s or... <laughs> I don't know, I'm just kind of curious, like, what, what what ages were these people that were nude? I'm just kind of... Most of the nudists that I know are old. Yeah? They're my age. Seriously. Oh, that's traumatizing. 
Yeah, think about it. <laughs> but most of the nudists are older nudists. They're not young people. Now, the younger ones are in Russia, Germany, mm -hmm. France, and England. This European thing. Okay. Yeah. So in the videos that you watched, you know, you see the parents and their kids. What do you think the average age of the kid was? Like, were they like teenagers, infants, toddler? Like, they what? Go all the way. All the way. To different ranges. Okay. So, so, so you would just look at all of that, just kind of naked. They're on beaches. No, I know they're on beaches, but just. Okay, if you're on beaches, you know, it's just whoever's on the beach. Okay. It's usually more than one or two people. So you would just see it, like from infant all the way to like adult. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's everything. It, it's it's not just. A, a specific group of people. Right. Oh. So, just kind of curious because, you know, I, I know there's like, gate. you know, you know all about gateways. I mean, you, you used to do, you know, there's gateways into, you know, like real exploitation. I'm not saying you ever produced any of those images, but no. if you look, if you're looking at nudists, yeah. I'm sure that's a gateway. Or it's been a gateway before. Then again, it's not something I was interested in. Right, I'm not saying you were interested in it. I'm just saying okay, you probably right. were curious to about it. something about, uh, you know, pursue something like that, you would have to have an interest, oh, I would think. Sure, absolutely. And then but you'd have to have a quality camera, because not any camera is going to capture the, what you're trying to if you're either a movie, you're a director or a, uh... Ah, uh, just go. Chief Texas Roadhouse is open. I'll just take that, yeah. Yeah, but basically... Oh, we're starving, dude. Sorry. But basically, you know, just because you don't have an interest in it doesn't mean... Like, I've been thinking I wasn't interested in, you know? But I'm just curious, because, you know, Ronnie, I know you're on the brink of... But there's people that are going to get caught up like you did who don't deserve that. You know what I mean? Or who get sucked into the internet. So help me figure out how we can help innocent people like you and help and make sure I don't have to go through what you went through. So, I mean, if it became a gateway to some type of child, tell me. Because I know it. I, I mean, it's been 20 years. I know it. it, it it's had to have. I'm trying to figure out why Google did what they did. By showing you that stuff? Yeah. But you said you looked for nudists. Nudist. I didn't okay. look for child. Okay, so Google showed you child. Yes. Okay. So what did, so, okay. And you got caught up. All you had to do was click, click on the link. Oh, okay. Once the link clinked on, you were caught. And they reported you to the FBI. So the FBI arrested you? No. It was Bureau of Tennessee. Oh, the, the Tennessee State, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So... And according to my lawyer, I could have beat that case if I'd hired my lawyer and paid my bond. I wouldn't have spent five years in jail. Mm. Because who's the victim <coughs> in this case? You, for sure. Yeah. So, so basically... I got tricked into it. Okay. Yeah, and that's what I'm kind of curious, because there's people that actually look for child... There's yeah. people that get tricked into just watching it. You'd be surprised... What is the number one X-rated thing that people look for on the net? Child. Yeah. How'd you How'd you find that out? Because they've been they announced it on the radio several times mm. during the years. So you got tricked into this. I mean, you know, the FBI and the Tennessee State Police are good. They ain't that good. How many times did you get tricked into it for them to catch on? Once that I'm aware of. I don't think 2016 was the first time that someone sent you child. I didn't say that. I said it's, it's, I, I get what you get getting there. Right. Because uh, I know in the early 2000s the internet was wide open. Yeah, and they they were trying to promote that back then. Okay, so everywhere. So you did, couldn't go on the internet and not some pop up come up for child. Oh, so this, did this happen a lot? A lot. A lot, okay. Yeah. And, and it doesn't matter what you were searching for. Yeah. That's why it come up. Oh, God, okay. Anytime you, okay, let's see, I'm a grown man and I want to see a woman and have 
Uh huh. Where that pops up. Right. So shower ended up popping up with her for that. Oh good God. So did a video pop up or just like a picture image or was it both? Uh, I, no pictures mainly. And uh, mainly, so there were some videos. Yeah, there, there, there was a whole site of this shit. of child videos. Yeah. How I, long I, were these was, uh, pictures and videos? Okay. How long were these videos? Not very long. Yeah. They don't last. Long. They don't last long. Like how no. many? How many minutes or whatever? Five is generally the most. Five minutes. Okay. Yeah. So what what happened to this five minute video that you were forced to see? I'm not real sure because I distracted. Yeah, I mean, if you, if you can try to remember, like, like surely, I mean, how many of these videos do you think that they made you watch? I didn't watch, but one video. But one, okay. It was you said five minutes. Yeah. Okay. What happened to that video? If you can try to, what year was this? First of all. First of all, I didn't stay on it. I cut it off. Okay. And the only reason I knew it was five minutes is because that's what it said on the. Uh, Log. Oh, on the log about thing. How, how long the video was. Okay. So. I was getting out of, I got out of there mm -hmm. as quickly as I could, but it didn't get out quick enough. So how long did it play before you got out of it? I did. I'm telling you, once it started, I cut it off and jumped out of it. Yeah. So, you know, it's not like I was hanging around <clears throat> trying to see that. How many times do you think a... Uh, do you think where you had to, like, you know, because you said pop-ups come up. How many times do you think you had to close out of a child video? Because I'm trying to figure out what they would do to you. I... Well, that's, that back in, the, like you said, in 2000, when all this started blowing yeah. up, they were, every, every, damn near everything that you clicked on came up there. As child? Yeah. So, do you think you came across child thousands of times? At least. At least, at least thousands of times? Yeah. Okay. Because, like I said, the, the first year or two, you couldn't go on the internet and without child. It. Yeah, dude, all it would be fucking child. Dude, I was playing this game called Mission Mars. Press a space bar, dude. It was like a freaking Gerber doll, or it was the Gerber baby. Just like it was yeah, ridiculous. Out now on the internet. Oh, did you see baby? No, I'm saying they got realistic looking babies. Yeah, that that you can buy. But they're like thousands of dollars. Right. And I'm saying, the f really? Wow. And they go from newborn to uh, two or three years. These are toys? Toys. Oh, yeah. wow. Has anyone tried to sell you any? No, they have videos on online mm -hmm. showing them taking care of uh, the, the baby. Washington all Damn. Yeah. So it's a toy or a real kid? It's a it's a toy. Okay. But it's so realistic looking. Yeah. It looks like a real kid. Yeah. Yeah. So so you, you said you came across thousands of times. At least. <coughs> yeah. Okay. And this is from basically the two thousand two thousands to twenty sixteen? Yeah, well, I guarantee you, they still got it out there. Yeah, because they popped you in 2016. You had to come across it pretty recently. So, so, so they didn't get you for the for the nude family. They got you for child, but you didn't mean to see it. Is that is that what happened? I didn't sign in for that. That's not what I was trying to get to. But it just showed up, and then and they got you. Up. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, on Facebook, I know there's people that send that stuff around. I mean, has it popped up for you after you got out of prison at all, or? No. Not, I don't think so. I don't think so. Right. I mean, has there been like maybe one or two times where it accidentally popped up and you had to close it out? I don't think so. No. I, I, I got my own food. I ordered it. I don't know, I don't know what you want. Just put it on DoorDash what you want and I'll just get it ordered. Oh, okay. Oh, man. I appreciate
appreciate you being here so long, uh, Ronnie. I mean, just existing. I mean, what what day were you what day were you born? I mean, that's crazy that you're still alive. Oh, really? Wow, that is freaking nuts. So basically, so so is there maybe like, you said you don't think so, is there like one or two times where child popped up, like after you got out of prison, you had to close it because you didn't want to go through it again or? No. No? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. And I don't go to chapels. I go to teen sites. Oh, teen sites? Yeah. Okay. And uh, are these teens like... 18. No, but are they like in naked or... Well, yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't have... <laughs> right, right. And I look at... I'm sorry. That's what I do. But I'm not looking at chapels. Right. I'm looking at legal ways. I see. So, Ronnie, kind of my, my hang up here is, man, um, look, you mentioned that you do have an attraction to minors. Okay. So, what, what year did you first start talking to them online? Not really aware of that. The only minors I talk to is my grandchildren. Right, but I mean, in the, in the days of the early 2000s, all these chat rooms. I never was that interested in them. Okay, but you said like you had an attraction your whole life to them. Well, I didn't say it was online with the attraction. Oh, no, not online with it? Okay. No. And <coughs> I, I'm not talking to anybody. I stay in my yard. Mm -hmm. I sit up here by and take care of my flowers and stuff, and yeah. plant stuff, and I'm not talking to anybody. Okay. So all this child popped up for you in the 2000s, um, all the way to 2016. I mean, Ronnie, it's 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 kind of, and again, I'm not judging you because, dude, there's a difference between doing it in person versus the internet. Like this, if you were to meet Emily, yeah, I think you deserve a lot worse than a talking to, honestly. Oh, yeah. But it's just internet. Okay, and you're kind of removed from it, so you can just fulfill your fantasy without harming any kids. I but, don't want to harm kids. I know you don't. You're so protective, I can tell. But, come on, man. Yeah. I was born in 2000, okay? He was born in 2000. We all played games as a kid, you know? No child popped up for us, yeah. okay? But if you're seeing child thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of times, I mean, dude... Oh, we're just letting all the skeletons out, I think. That's what's happening right now. I'm, we're not cops, but I think, I, think a, I think a figurative ass kicking like this is what's needed, you know. Oh, yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate what you're doing because I didn't know this was happening. I'm going to leave you all alone, but thank you for, for, sure. for doing this, actually. Absolutely. Oh, he needs it, yep. Yep. Thank you. You have night vision for her? Yeah, so, I mean, basically, look, Ronnie, we all played games. I mean, I've been on the internet for, since I was five years old. I've never had child just pop up. Okay, so, look, again, the nudist with the gateway, you said you've been attracted to minors your whole life. Okay, so, look, I'm not the Tennessee weirdos, whatever. I'm someone that I understand where you're coming from. I'm sure the Tennessee people, they weren't so sympathetic to you being a Vietnam veteran. I don't think they gave They ain't. In Tennessee, law is a lot harder. Right. They want you. They just want They just want people and their they power tripping. They want bodies in, in beds and their prisons. Right. They don't give a damn about nothing else. It's right. your life and what right. you've done or nothing. Right. So, so I'm, I'm, I care. I think veterans deserve, should be li all living in two-story mansions at least, you know. Especially combat ones. So, look, man, you have thousands. Child popped up thousands of t thousands of times for you. Okay, it wasn't. Do I think it was accidental at first? Maybe, but 
you know, you were in Vietnam, you know your mind can get corrupted when you see some. I think that's what happened with you with child. I think your mind got corrupted after seeing it accidentally. And then you started to actually start to seek it out. And then you got. Yeah. Okay. Multitude times. Okay. What year did you, how, how long did it take for you to start seeking it out after it popped up for you? I can't really honestly say. You know, okay. My memory's just not that good. It's okay. Do you think you've probably seeked it out thousands of times? No. Hundreds? Maybe. Okay. But Was thousands? This, no. How many times after you got out of prison did you seek out child? No. Okay, so this was all... I'm not seeking. I'm not looking for it. I'm trying to stay clean. I'm trying okay. to be good. I'm, I'm not... This is the that I did. I, I don't even believe I did it myself. Okay. So, and and I, I honestly, I'm, I was trying to be nice and help her. Okay. This, this got completely out of hand on my part, and I tried to correct it. Okay. So the hundreds of times you seeked out child was all pre-2016? Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, how young was the you were looking to seek out? Was it like from all the way from infants or like, I mean, if it's, I it's okay. I wasn't really seeking it, it just kept popping up. Right, but eventually, if because it pops up thousands of times, you have to eventually seek it. Yep. And I'm saying I was going to site. This is what pops up on site. Yeah, but Ronnie, well, I- you're doing site, you get gay Yeah, but Ronnie, I've been to sites pre-2016. Yeah. I've never seen child pop up. Really? Yeah, never, never. Huh. Oh, I mean, look, I'm not doubting that Google f you into getting into it, but eventually you had to type up child keep seeing it. Whatever, I mean, look, again, I don't care. You had to type it up, and I don't recall typing it up ever. You had to look up something for it to keep coming up. What did you look up for, for you to have child keep displayed and displayed and displayed to you? Teens. Teens? Teen okay. News. Okay. It so were you kind of expecting like maybe 13 to 14, but you got a child okay, child instead? When, or when you say teens, teens is anything from 13 up. Okay, so that's what you were looking for. No, that's not what I was looking for. I was looking for teens, thinking 18 and, and older. But Ronnie, you said you have an attraction to minors your whole life, so it doesn't make sense that you were looking up. I mean, look, there's a difference between being into infants, which I've met some people that are up. Yeah. Versus just teens, because teens are developing, they're young adults. But come on, man, how many times were you expecting to see a 13 or a 14 year old when you would look this stuff up? I mean, here you're asking an 11 year old for nudes, so it's not like yeah. it's out of the question. How many times? Come on, man, be be truthful, bro. I'm on your side here. I'm letting you know. I honestly don't <laughs> know. Son. Yeah. Was it too many to count? It's, a, it's not that. It's just that my memory's not what it's supposed to be. I'm not clear like this. Okay. My, I had, I learned a little thing in Vietnam. To put, you know, the things that bother you, you got to get. Block them out. You got to block them out. Mm -hmm. And this is kind of like that. Okay. One of the things I'm trying to block out. So if you were looking for only 18 and up, you wouldn't have to block it out because you're not doing anything wrong. So, so do you think you're blocking out times that you have looked up child? No. Okay. Yeah. Do you think the child? You looked up was as young as infants sometimes? No. Okay. Do you think it was toddlers and up? No. It's up. It's not down. Okay. So maybe like 13 and up? No, generally I, it started around eight. Eight years old? And up. Eight, eight and up? Okay. Yeah. And, okay. How many counts of child they bust you for in uh, Tennessee? That one, one issue. One? Okay. Yeah. So you'd see these child videos of eight and up that you would look up. So, I'm sorry, did you see videos of eight and up pretty much? No. All images? All images. Images? Okay. Yeah. Well, you said that child video popped up for you. I mean, I, I, did any videos pop up of that? You just happened to watch them because you were bored or because you were one, stupid or what? That one was a preset thing. It's once you got into it, it started running. Okay, I see. And, and you couldn't, you had to stop it. Right. And try to back out of, it's like you get on your phone today and you're trying to get out of a site that yeah. you don't want to see, it don't want to let you out. Right. It's kind of like a virus keeps pulling you back in. Yeah. 
So, I mean, Ronnie, dude, I, I mean, I think you, Vietnam caused you to have an addiction to children, dude. Not in a bad way. I think Vietnam caused me to have addiction to being... Yeah. yeah, okay. So let's revisit back in 1989. What happened? Huh? What happened in 1989? I'm, I don't know because I didn't get arrested and I didn't get charged that I'm aware of. Okay. Has your daughter accused you of her? No. Yeah. Okay. So. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's, not, it's not something I've done. But you haven't talked to her since she was 16. She didn't live with me. Okay. When did she when did she live with you? Yes. Yeah. So your wife of thirty eight years is is a different woman. It's different a, woman. Is the mother of this child. Okay. I have two daughters from her. Okay, I see. Makes sense. I got sense. one in Arkansas and one here. Mm -hmm. And I got an older daughter, the one you're talking about. She's fifty years old. She's in prison right now. All right. And she had a stepdad. It wasn't me. I wasn't living with her then. Okay. So what I'm kind of getting at here, man, is how many times did you just couldn't help yourself? Did it just happen? Because, look, I know there's also young girls that come on to guys and get them to do stupid to them in person. And I'm sure, and I'm sure if it's happened with you, you regret it. How many times has it happened in person with you and a minor? I know it's not zero because you're you're too old. It's not zero. How many times has it happened? And who was it? And I'm not here to judge you, man. I just want to know. That's why I said you like that out. All right. I don't care, David. I so you're blocking something out that happened. What are you blocking out? I mean, it's not here to tell your daughter. It's here to just tell me. Okay. Because, look, I don't want any more. There was a girl in Florida. Uh-huh. And I knew her mother. And I knew her brother. Mm -hmm. And she was, I don't know how old she was. I'm thinking she was probably 13, 14. Okay. And she climbed up in a tree in my yard, okay? Mm -hmm. And I just happened to be below her, and I look up, and she's not wearing underwear or bra. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I didn't touch her. I didn't pursue her. Well, I'm just let's... saying I've seen her. Okay. <clears throat> well, that's that just seems like a pretty big coincidence for someone who's looked up child for 15 years. So, look, man, you wouldn't have brought that up if nothing happened. Did she come on to you? No, what happened? Okay. Nothing happened. Okay. Other than I've seen her like that. Ronnie, that's 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 a cop out, man. You know what I'm getting at here. What happened? Look, dude, I'm not here to judge you for it, man. But the thing is, all four of us here know what ha know something happened. I just want to know: was it was it consensual? Was it just touching? Was it just a little bit of hey? Okay. So let's cross that out. So what? Ha I know I someone. Never forced myself on okay. It was was it kind of her idea to do what happened with you guys? What she did, she did on her own. I didn't even, I wasn't even aware she was doing it. What did she do to you? All I'm saying is she, she climbed up in this tree and she's under, I mean, that did she, no did, did she grab No. Okay. Ronnie, you, you didn't go 72 years without you and, a, you and a minor having contact with each other, sexual contact. I don't know if you had one, whatever, uh, but I know there was some touching that went on with you and that Florida chick with others. The only others. thing that happened to me is I was in juvenile court when yeah. I was a kid. Right, and I'm not seven years old. Right, so I'm. That's probably what. That's probably what triggered. That's probably what triggered. But I'm not. I don't I know. like boys. I know, but it's probably what triggered the attraction to you said eight and up. So, look, dude, what? What happened with you and the Florida girl? Because I know it's not nothing. I, maybe it's not freaking, but it's something, dude. You wouldn't be bringing it up if it wasn't, man. You, look, you need to be honest with yourself. I'm being honest. No, you're I, not. I've seen her. You seen her? It. Okay, did it turn you on? Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's probably the only guilt I feel about it. Okay. That's not something you block out, man. You, 
you were you you said block out like it was something terrible that happened, dude. It's oh. it's worse that you're hiding it than just not telling the truth about it. You need to be honest with yourself before you're honest with me. So be honest with yourself and just tell me what happened. I don't know. They did not have. Okay. Do you think maybe you just guys touched each first other a little all, bit? First of all, her mother was gorgeous. And her mother came down afterward and tried to get me to date her. Okay. So with all that, so look, man, I'm not putting the blame on you, man. I'm just saying something happened. So if you're attracted to minors, the mom's getting you to date her, you're turned on by this girl, seeing her nudity, and you're telling me nothing happened, and you said after Vietnam you were Okay? Yeah. So... This is years and years after Vietnam. Okay. Doesn't the go away? So what happened? What, so what, what did the mom make you and the girl do? Did you guys just sit on each other's lap? No. Hug? Nothing. Oh, Ronnie, that's I'm such serious. BS. Okay. Yeah. I, I can tell, man, there's other stuff you're blocking out. What do you think it is? That, that's sexual contact between you and a minor. If it, tell me if it's touching, tell I, me something. Telling you is not. Don't okay. Do. So I'm not going to ask that again. It's, so. It's against my belief to do that. Okay. So how many times have you had sexual contact with a minor? Or as a, sexual, or as a minor had sexual contact with you, make you do something to them that they wanted to do? Because I, I, I can see that happening. I can't happening with you. I can see that happening, I, though. I don't see that happening either, because children can't make you do anything. Not children, but make maybe like 13, 14, like the Florida girl. Yeah. How, how? Just not a, not something, kind of like I know. I'm guilty by fan size. Oh, come on, you don't block that out. Okay, well. That you're blocking out something that happened. No, I'm not. You said you were. I'm blocking out something that happened when I was a kid, and I got a, uh, I, I got a in, in juvenile court. That's what I'm blocking. I know, but Ronnie, I mean, what was the Florida girl's name? Erica. Okay. And I don't remember her last name, just Erica. She lived down the street from us. Yeah, well, what city was that? Jacksonville. Okay. Yeah. Was it hard for me to find Erica? Huh? Was it hard for me to find her? I talked to her. Okay. Yeah, I did. Basically, your story is mostly true, but I, dude, I understand this is hard to talk about, dude. I do. But again, I'm not judging you for what she did to you or you did to her. Well, if I did something to her, it's in her mind. It's a fantasy. I didn't do it. It just doesn't make sense. What you're saying, you you have an attraction to minors. The mom, the mom tried to get you to date her. Yeah. And I love Gloria. Yeah, but the, Ronnie, there, there's just no way yeah. that you're 72 asking nudes from an 11 year old, and that nothing happened with you and Erica. It doesn't make any type of sense. You know that. What 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 I how I know that and look I'm not gonna call you a liar because I know it's hard to talk about and I know you feel guilt about it, but when but when you say that you didn't even give her a hug, yet you're so close with her mom, yeah, you of course you gave her a hug, but you're even denying that. That just shows me that you're trying to hide everything that happened with her. If you were fully honest, or if you were better at trying to hide the truth, you would have said you gave her a hug or you kiss her, but look, I know how you are. You're no, it's not your fault. It's happened to you. So, I mean, did you grab her? Did she grab you? What happened, Ronnie? Tell me the truth. I'm begging you, man. You need I to get this off your chest. I really don't know. What do you think that happened? She went home. That's exactly what happened. She come down out of the tree and she flushed and blood, and then next thing I know, she learned, she was with another girl. That's Who not what you said. Name? That's not what you said. She blushed. She blushed and blushed. Then you, it just everything is leading up to you guys doing something together. She had a friend with her who was her next door neighbor. Maybe it happened to both of them. I don't know. 
You see, what year was this in? It was different back then. It's not like 13 year olds weren't looked at as kids back then. 71. Okay. 72, I don't know, somewhere back then. So this, was, so this wasn't like, a 13 year old nowadays is more of a kid. That was more of an adult back then. You don't need to be ashamed to tell me what happened with her. I'm just trying to see if we're on the same page. Remember, it just ain't clear like it used to be. No, I think you just don't want to tell me, man. I don't understand. I came all this way to just talk to you, to get this addressed, to clear up misconceptions people had about you, and you can't even tell me the truth about what happened with you and Erica? Even if it happened once, I just want to know, man. I that I'm aware of. I'm serious. I mean, if it did, I'm not aware of it. Are there any times you've been accused of doing something to a minor? Yes. Okay, what happened? I was working for an apartment complex. Uh-huh. And I kept having these kids that break into my apartments that we were we were cleaning. I go in and do what's called a punch out. That's where you go in and change all the light bulbs out. Yeah. All the all the different things that are wrong with the apartment and get it ready for the new person to move in. Uh-huh. Well, the lock on one of them was is we're talking the most expensive unit on the property. And I can't have kids in there playing around. And every time I come down there to take care of my punch out, there's this group of kids in there playing around in the, in the apartment. Were they all boys or? No, it was boys and girls. Okay. And I told them that they had to get out of the apartment. <laughs> they couldn't stay there. Next thing I know, they're back in another apartment. I went to punch out, they're in it. So I told management, they told the parents, the parents said that I to their child because I told them not to be in the apartments. What year was this? 70, it's in the seventies, that's all I can tell you. It's either 70 or 71. Now it had to be 70, it had to be later than that because I I was in prison in 72, if I'm not incorrect. What did you go to prison for? Uh, self possession of marijuana. Okay. Uh, my brother's charged. I did three years for him. Yeah. Most of my charges have been marijuana related. Self possession, self possession. I got seven charges for him. Felony charges for selling possession, and he sold them one freaking ounce. Okay, Ronnie, I mean, you've been accused all these times. Yeah. Have you been accused other than the apartment thing? I'm sure you have. People just seem to find a way to f*** you over. Uh, what, what's, what's another time you've been accused? I'd be more m myself over, I don't need help. Yeah, what's well, another time you've been accused of doing something to a kid? That's it that I'm thinking. I didn't have a whole lot of <laughs> accusations made against me. So is the apartments and anything else? Uh, this the apartments. While I was in Jacksonville. So the 80s, the 90s, the 2000s, you just had nobody say anything to you? I mean, come on, man. I mean, I'm trying to, I'm trying to help you get the truth out, but like... Okay, you're helping me get the truth out, and I'm telling you the truth, and, and you don't want to accept it. I am not a person who is out there following <coughs> kids around. I know you're not. Trying to get... No, I know you're not, but I'm saying it probably happened once or twice, where you made a mistake. That's it. I'm not so, saying you, you go around the school with an ice cream truck. That's different than what you I did. I used to drive an ice cream truck. Oh, well. There you go. But then most of my sales, most of my sales was what's called commercial sales, where you go to the car lots and places yeah. like that. I was a freezer manager. I, I'm the one that pulled all the orders for all the rest of the ice cream truck drivers. And then I leave late and take my truck out. Okay. So, Ronnie, what I'm trying to get at here is... 
I know for a fact, because I can see it in everything about you, that there's been a time, and that's probably, because it's just too many things f fell into place for it to happen. You were abused as a kid. Yeah. You went to Vietnam. You're when attracted to minors. Kid, when I was a kid, I had a girl that lived down the street to come down. Her name was Anita. And I was sexually attracted to her. And how old were you I and how old was she? We were about the same age at that time. Okay. Now that's the first memory I have of actually pursuing a girl. And I got my ass whooped, Lord, yo. My mama beat me severely from head to toe. Did she, did she say she was like too young? No, because we were about the same age. We were both in the same uh, class at school. Mm -hmm. So only I was two years older than her because my mom died. Mm -hmm. I didn't start school till eight. So that made her around six. Uh -huh. You know, first grade, kindergarten, or whatever. Yeah. So yeah, I was, I was about two years old. Okay. So is there any, is there any times where this has happened? Because something had to make you look up child in the first place. Okay. Like I said, you, you said you've had this attraction to minors your whole life. You've been through Vietnam. You were abused as a kid. Ronnie, try your best to remember what happened with you and some, with you as an adult and some kid. Whether you put your hands on them sexually, whether they did it to you, whether you all had just what happened because I know something happened you don't go 72 years liking minors and having none of this happen especially being you know as you like to call it stupid and doing dumb dumb stuff so what happened man I'm, I'm waiting on you to tell me well, how about this I've never had with a minor okay so let's cross that out sexual touching touching what happened with the touching Jesus Christ dude annoying you don't live here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's going to have to be censored. Okay. So touching. What happened with the touching as you an adult and with a minor? It's just generally just something that happens. Yeah? It's, Who was it? I can't remember because it's been years. Okay. I don't remember everybody that I've come in contact with. Was it multiple minors that you touched probably? Not really. Not really? How many do you think it was? I'll be honest with you, I didn't like the feelings I had about myself when I did it, so I tried mm -hmm. not to do it. Right, but so how many... Y'all got to understand this. No, no, I'm not saying you're proud of this. Pursuing. Right. I'm trying to keep from doing Yeah, exactly. And... But how many times did it happen, you think? Not... If I thought you were proud of it, I wouldn't be talking to you right now. My mind is not working on this. Come side. on, Ronnie, try your best. I am trying. Do you think it happened dozen, to no. dozens of times? No. Okay. Ten times? How about it rarely happened? Rarely what happened? I was trying to keep from doing Okay. That. With these minors, what did you do to them? Nothing more than touch. Touch them on their... Mostly look. Look? I'm a looker. Okay. I mean, I'm not a touching oh. more than I'm... Did you touch them on their buttocks? Generally, yeah. Okay. Or they're, they're private. Okay. Yeah, because they don't have breath. Yeah. Most of them. So. So you're telling me that didn't happen with Erica, but it happened with others? I mean, I mean, yeah, with what you're telling me, it obviously I mean, happened with Erica. Was, the girl in the, the tree. The only thing I saw, she did that. That wasn't me. Okay. Yeah, I know she and did she it. She was teasing me, and I. Did you just you couldn't hold yourself back? I didn't do anything to her, other than look. Okay. I promise you. So the ones you did stuff to. I am not that kind of person. I know, but you. everybody makes mistakes. I make mistakes, too. Yeah, We're not perfect. I tell you what, the day I hurt some kid, because I'm a predator and I can't stop myself, this would be. But there were a few days where you didn't stop yourself. But I didn't hurt nobody. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Okay. I'm so, not the kind of person, I'm not trying to hurt somebody. I'm not out there trying to hurt 
trying to do things for okay. kids. I know, I know, I know. You try to hold yourself back. I know. That's why I'm trying to get it out, man, because I know you're somebody that just needed help your whole life, not trouble. So you shouldn't have gone to jail for CP. You should have had help. But they don't do that. I know, and it's not fair. It, it's, it's easier to go and lock you up. Yeah, I know. And then ruin your life because the rest of your life you don't live. Yeah, it's not fair what happened to you, man. I'm not, I'm, I agree with that. You would never hurt a kid. But what happened? How old were the kids that you put your hands on and, and, and uh, buttocks? I would say eight. They were eight years the old? Youngest. Okay. How many How many uh, people were we talking that you did this to? Six, maybe. The Six. Over the years. Okay. Eight years old. How old were the other five, if you had to guess? It generally went up to about 11. Okay. So. And how many, uh, who were they? Like, how, what was your relationship to them? Just people I knew in the hood. Generally. In the hood? It was this in Mem all in Memphis? No. Some of it was in Memphis, some of it was in Florida. Okay. Because things are different in Florida. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you go to the store and you got people running around bikinis in school. Right, in right. Store, okay. Or thongs. And, okay. So, I mean, so, so did some of those neighbors. Different lifestyle. Okay. So, so, so were some of those neighborhood kids that accused you of doing it? Did you do it to them? I didn't know that I had been accused. You said the kids in the apartment complex accused that you of doing it. in the apartment complex. They did that because they were they got in trouble for breaking into my units. But how many of them did you do it to? I didn't do any of them. Okay. So these were all neighborhood kids that you did it to, like in your on your street yeah, or something. Yeah, okay, yeah. how did you get how did you get them alone with you? They seek you out. Yeah, how so? They seek you out. Like how, what they do to seek you out? They come to you when you're alone. Yeah. That's like I'm out here working and taking care of stuff. Next thing I know, somebody's standing there. Oh, a, a little girl, or did you boys too? No, I never touched the boy. Okay. I don't. Look. I was, right, right, right. I don't know why, but that just... So the girls would come to you, they would just stand right there. What did you do next? Generally, we talk, and the next thing I know, you know... You were just touching them? Yeah. Okay. So, I don't even like to say that. It happened. It's okay. No, it's not. And, and that's what I have to keep reminding myself. Yeah. Every day, I go through this that it's not okay. Right. So. And do you remember what decade this was in? So this was this 70s, 80s, 90s, or just? And it was 90s mainly. Okay. And, and, and no, just because I'm 72 doesn't mean I spent my whole life doing it. Right. You know, I'm trying to tell you, I did the best I could to avoid this. Did you do it in broad daylight, or did you take them out back, or take them in your house? or whatever, how, how, where, where did you do it with them? Usually, like I said, I'm outside. You would have them outside? Come on, no no way. Yeah. And nobody would pass by and care? I'm in a covered garage. Oh, okay, okay. You know, outside. Mm -hmm. But it's still open on the sides. Yeah. Well, we had a big old tall tree bushes behind it. Yeah. And, you know, you had a shield to keep people from seeing. So. All right. <clears throat> well, I mean, that's uh, something you're gonna have to live with for doing that, man. To them, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't feel good about it. How, how do you think? How do you think they feel? How do you think an eight-year-old feels when she's he, she just wants to say hi to the guy that lives down the street, and next thing you know, and knows for the first time. You don't think that she felt feel. You don't think that hurt her. You don't think that hurt her. Like you, you don't think that putting your hand on. Okay, but you don't think putting your hand on eight year old hurt her, or she has memories of that. You you think that's just all good and dandy. No. Okay. I didn't. And I still don't. You know they came to you probably to say hi and be nice, and you took advantage of them, right? You know you did that. Okay. So you think that's you think that's not hurting kids? Yeah, it's hurting. Yeah, it's hurting kids. I'm not I know. You try, you try to justify it. No. But you're a child. You're a. You know how like creepy be. See, give me the phone real quick. Do you know like how creepy be? Yeah.
up, which he did, man. Real f***ed up. So don't tell me you didn't want to see Emily nude. Of course you did. You can't help yourself. You're addicted to children. It's a bad habit, but I keep going back and eating ice cream and chocolate cake. Just... Yeah. So now tell me this. You can't help yourself, dude. It's not your fault to you. You were made like this, but you still did. So how much child is sitting on your phone right now? No. None? So if I was to go through it, I wouldn't find any? No. No? No. Why, you want to go through it? I'd like to, actually, yeah. Man, no, man. Yeah, I got open. I uh, have permission to go through it. Look who's on there. I don't know if that's child like teen on there. <laughs> She's 30 something years old. She's 30 something? Okay. Yeah, yeah I can see that. She's 37. Okay. So what I saw though, I saw one, I saw, I saw one picture of like a little girl in a bikini kind of doing this with her legs. I mean, uh, but other than that, I, I mean, they, yeah, they look like adults. Yeah, I'm but I mean, you, I, I'm associating with adults. I'm not trying to children or chase children down. You just couldn't help yourself. Yeah, you can. <laughs> no, no, you know, you can't. Hopefully now you do, but I mean, it's been 50 years and you're still doing it. Well, what's with the pickle order? Onesie way. Ronnie, are you a Democrat? No. Okay. I'm not a Republican either. You're just a libertarian? How about I'm a felon? Oh. <laughs> no, no rights. Well, I don't really think people that touch kids should have rights, per se, but I think that kind of goes out the window when you violate their life and liberty and happiness. How about I lost my, my privileges over marijuana? Well, that's dumb. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I'm no pothead, but, like, I mean, I don't think you should be in jail it's for smoking legal. weed. It's legal in so many states now. Oh, it used to be legal? Yeah, it used to be. What do you mean, used to be? It still is. Like legal. Like it used to be. It's legal in Florida. It's yeah. It's legal in Arkansas. Talk about that. Legal uh, like California, Colorado, Washington State, Oregon. On and on and on. Yeah. It's legal in about 27 states now. Do you smoke weed still? No, I don't, I don't care if you do, I'm just asking. Okay. If I did, it would probably... Can you check on the uh, pickles one more time, please? Dude, I'm just starving, bro. You, you like oh. fried pickles? I haven't eaten fried pickles God ever. Huh. I eat pickles, though. I like pickles. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So how's the relationship with your uh, daughter like here? I have a great relationship with my daughter. Mm-hmm. 
as you can see, she's very concerned about me. Yeah, 100%. And she saved my life. Yeah. I was living on the streets in Memphis. And white. White? Yeah. It's probably not safe in Memphis. I'm probably more black than a black man is. Uh. I have it in my blood. Yeah. Hell, all, all the people I hung out with when I was a kid were black. Same. And the people I used to hang with, Al Green. You go with Al Green, the congressman? Al Green, the musician. Oh. We have an Al Green who's a congressman here. Oh, okay. He's a moron. Not everybody's smart. Well. Hello? Yeah. <laughs> Mosquitoes are getting worse, son. I know, Grandpa, I know. We're going to be drinking this dry over here soon. That's a sick beard you have. Huh? Sick beard you have. Yeah, I grew it in jail. Really? Yeah. Never cut it? It's a mustache. Oh, it is? Yeah. Nice. And the beard part has been shaved off. Though. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see you. I got to work on it again. Yeah, your mustache is like the Sacagawea hair. Yeah. I got the beads my daughter bought. Yeah, you have like the explorer hair, the exploring of the kid's hair, body's hair. <sighs> anyway. Gotta love Dallas, baby. Just waiting on the pickles. Gotta love, gotta love DTX. Good old DTX. Gunfire. He's in Memphis, you hear that 30, 40 times a day. <laughs> I'm serious. Probably. I can see that. So, what, what kind of music do you listen to? Like Willie Nelson or what? I love Willie Nelson. I know. I, generally, I don't listen to Willie. I like, uh, uh, damn it. Led Zeppelin. Yeah. ACDC. Uh, Queen. Elton John, uh, Randy Travis, okay, Dolly Parton, and of course, uh, uh, my girl, Sam, Miley Cyrus. Well, she's got a number one hit out right now. It's been on the charts for three weeks. Oh, you keep up? Well, yeah. I'm a fan. <laughs> nice. That's as young as I'm messing with right now. I thought your favorite band would be like, your favorite musician would be like Kid Rock or something. I never really cared for much. Not Kid Rock? Not Kid Rock. What about the Cold War Kids? Because, you know, you're in the 70s, so I think the Cold War Kids would be up your alley, too. You heard that song before? You heard, you heard uh, of that band before? No, not the Cold War kids. Okay. Okay, I got one for you. Sure. Babe Ruth. What about him? That's the name of a band. Oh. Uh, Their album was First Base. Oh, okay. Believe it or not, and no one's heard about that. You, you like uh, you like the song "Blinded by the Light" by a uh, Manford Man's Earth yeah, Band? Yeah, it's a great song. Yep. I like a lot of the old songs. In it. Oh, I do too. I like, uh, like the stylistics. Uh, the OJs, the Commodores, uh, uh, What about the Animals? Texans. You like the Animals? Animals, Eric Bergman and the Animals, hell yeah. I was in Vietnam, man. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. One of our favorite songs is, We gotta get out of this place. Yeah. If it's the last thing we ever do. Yeah. Wow. You really wasted it. You really wasted an interesting life down the drain by touching kids, dude. You'd be very, you'd be very interesting to talk to if you weren't like a literal child. I mean, I went to college for psychology. Uh, I'm never ordering from a Texas Roadhouse again. What did they say? Bro, they put me on on hold. Uh huh. And then just to tell me that they're busy. <laughs> Should we just go pick it up at the place? Yeah. I mean, she's the waitress said that they're busy, but they're still gonna come. Oh, that they're. 
uh, they're still gonna come, so I don't know. She just, that's all she said. Oh my God, I'm starving, dude. So I don't know, I don't know if you should go get it, because then what if they like come here? Right. I mean, it'll be for free food for them, but. <laughs> we the food too. Yeah, yeah, right? That's the biggest blue bowl ever. Ugh, oh, that was terrible. <laughs> no, just, oh my God, that was so disappointing. That was very disappointing. Oh, Jesus Christ. Got my hopes up for nothing. This food better be good. Yeah, it's probably just gonna be like a, like a, yeah, you should order from us again one day. <laughs> I one just went, in, they went back in the house. Oh. Yeah. What she does for a living. What did you do for work before like you got arrested? I was doing part uh, apartment maintenance. Yeah. I was uh, working for a condominium association in Jacksonville. Yeah. And that's that was not the apartments. That was in the condominiums and people that owned their apartments. And uh, I worked for. Uh, those were the apartments. Yeah. And I worked with uh, two different uh, apartments. But I've lived there. Kind of a four square. Yeah. I would literally take gunshots in my apartment complex like I have a deal with them. <laughs> Sick and tired of the body, the body all. Yep. What time is it? It's 7.46. It's been two hours. <laughs> yeah. God damn it, dude. <laughs> we did call it. <laughs> so disappointing. Hey, it's not our fault, though. Ronnie, I'm hungry, dude. I hear you. Oh, Pablo. What? Well, it's probably going to be closed by the time, but I'll invest that for some now. I'm putting. Oh. Oh. Yeah, here, let's see. <laughs> I swear to God, these, these people come. You see how many inches they were apart? Yeah, it's insane. What's, what's the magic word <clears throat> you want to say? Uh. Okay, now you know what to say. <laughs> 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 uh, 10.30. Eh, uh, what's, uh... Now, a brig, a dow. I oh, know. Could you not have been an hour since I called the door to ash? Really? Yes. I'm gonna leave a bad review. <laughs> yeah. We can just wait like maybe 20 more minutes for the food to come. Oh, I'm like closing out all of your apps. Such a habit for me. Is there any now break downs? Yeah. Okay. I am down for some Mediterranean though, dude. I forgot about that. What is it? Like, it's like lamb, yeah. rice. Good ass food. Greek. Yeah, some That's Greek. Just, yeah, yeah Ronnie, trying to come with us? You want to go yeah, you're trying to go with us? No, nah, man, I'm not hungry. I had hepatitis C for a long time. Oh. 
you lose your appetite. You don't eat. And I lost that. I'm a, I lost a 26 pounds. Okay. Well, that's why we're here. We're here to see you and help you, man. Well, you help. Here for you can cut it. Huh? I can cut that for her. Be sure to sub to locals. Hit the pin comment or you just press the red join button. Um, Ronnie, can you can you just say to the camera, hey, make sure you sub to locals. It really helps us out. Help what? Sub to locals. It really sub helps us out. Sub to locals. It really helps us out. Sub to locals. Yep, say press that red join button. Just press say pre that red join button. Or go to the link in the comments. I'll go to the link in the comments. Yep. And say if you want kids to be saved, be sure to join locals. Yeah, if you want kids to be saved, join locals. Thank you, Ronnie. You're welcome. We're endorsed by the we're endorsed by Um <clears throat> quite an honor. Quite an honor. Be a lot of us. Yep. Surprise. Semper five to ten. Um. There's a couple, huh? Yeah. I thought about it. It was literally earlier today. <laughs> you know, part of this is because when you're in war. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you do. Yeah. You kill stuff that you ain't supposed to do. You do things you're not supposed to do. You break the fucking law. Yeah. God's law. And then you turn into this kind of So you think that's what it is? I'm pretty sure it is. Hmm. I didn't really have that issue of see I was with kids my age. Right. It wasn't after younger kids. Well if you would have just told me this like two hours ago, this would have been over a lot quicker, but I mean you know, a bunch of uh Come on, Ronnie. You should, you should like to know this to be immediately. I mean, Jesus Christ, but I appreciate. I struggled with this all my life. Being a. Yeah. Okay. That has stopped. I'm trying, I'm trying to stop. I know. And it's, it's a lot harder than you think it is. Yeah. Because I, I don't want to do it. I love kids, and I love to protect kids. Right. I'm thinking about the kids, and I want to help Turn off my vision. Turn off my I don't want to be that person. I know. Here, Paul, can you just hold the flashlight? Well. You know, we'll Yeah, man. I've seen kids every age. When I was in Vietnam, I saw them babies. Thrown up and caught on bayonets. What? Yes. Disgusting. Damn. Your value for life goes down. You get to a point you don't care anymore. You just... They were the babies? Yes. Wow. They come into the villages. If you don't... The North Vietnamese is the reason why... It's because the North Vietnamese would go into the South Vietnamese villages and take all the people out of them. Wow. Women, children. Old men, old women, it didn't matter. All the kids that were old enough got inducted into the uh, North Vietnamese uh, Army. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Forced to be in the military. Did you have to kill kids? Yes. They call us babies. Hmm. Why? Because we kill babies, that's why. Because if we come, we put a baby on a pressure plate, and you go to pick that baby up, and then a bomb is closing. Jesus. So he started babies to keep from dying. You know the guilty kid with that? Yeah. It's a lifetime. It never goes away. Ever. Yeah. Sorry, I had to go through that. That's what you do when you believe in something. When you believe in it's not enough that you're willing to fight that one. Were you drafted or did you enlist? I enlisted. I did not get drafted. No, sir. I joined the Marine Corps. Why? Because it did the toughest my life. My dad 
with my stepdad. Started wolfing me the day I got to his house. The day it ended was the day I went to the Marines and joined the Marines and come home. The first day I come home, I told him, there ain't gonna be no more of that bull. You raising your hand, putting your hand on me, it ain't gonna happen again. He was seven, he was uh, six five. Two, two, uh, two of fifty-five, like this. And I was seventeen years old. I had a seventeen-inch waist and then weighed one hundred and twenty pounds. Jeez. Yeah. Wow. I gained twenty pounds <coughs> in the Marines. Went to one forty. Hmm. Do you still keep in touch with your, like, comrades? The ones I care about are dead. Sorry to hear that. Bad. You either died from combat or you died from Agent Orange. That's Agent Orange? What is that? The herbicide that you sprayed on the, the jungle to kill the jungle. Yeah, they're killing us. Yeah. I was in the back of the eight by uh, and wall, and they sprayed us. And it looked like mercury rolling around the floor of the truck. Little silver balls. Mm -hmm. I went to a Korean war camp there. Prisoner war camp. They were prisoners. You were you were captive? No, I was a prisoner of war guard. Oh, okay. I guarded prisoners. Means I had to take them to different places and drop them off. <laughs> what was the attitude like when you came back to America? Like, how did people treat people you? People hated me. Really? Yeah. I wanted to get my job back which the president had assured us that when you got back to Vietnam, you could get your old job back. Well, he didn't want us. That's what they told us. You're just too damn I don't want you working for me. Scared of them. Mm. No one through years is When did people start to like honor you for your service? Not until the 90s. Yeah. yeah. I went to six, I was in Vietnam in 68 and 69. And like I said, until the 90s, we weren't even recognized as a group. Most hated war in, in American history. Was there any like Viet Cong baddies? Viet Cong has ceased to exist in 1968 in the Tet Offensive that was in January. They were wiped out completely and totally. So who were you fighting in uh, 1969? North, North Vietnamese Army, Red Roof. Okay. Everything was North Vietnam. Do you but, think? Do you think we? Do you think we won the Vietnam War? Do you think we lost or? We didn't lose. Okay. Because we more of them than they of us. Right. Yeah. They're counting fifty-five thousand. We're talking millions. That we. In 1969, I was part of a recon mission that went to Laos mm -hmm. on the border of China and Vietnam because we were checking out to see if we were going to invade North Vietnam. We were going to cross the DMZ at Quang Tree. Got there, I never in my entire life seen so many people. The Chinese was on the Vietnam border, ready to go in to support them. And we're talking millions. <coughs> not hundreds, not thousands, millions. They had helicopters everywhere, tanks, artillery, all kinds of units. They were ready. Wow. Yeah. So China never ended up doing it, though. We didn't invade. Oh, you were saying if you were going to invade China? 
We were invading North Vietnam. Oh, so you didn't invade North. You didn't invade we, North Vietnam. You just defended South Vietnam. Okay, okay. Yeah, but in 1969, we had decided to uh, go over the DMZ into North Vietnam. Jesus. And that's why they sent this as a recon party to check it out. As part of the 3rd Marine Force Recon. Combat experience is required. Damn. I have the car. It's the combat action ribbon. And I had the ribbon these cross the gallantry twice. Vietnamese campaign, Vietnam service, national defense. Yeah. Notice I don't have the Purple Heart. Right. You never got injured or anything? I don't get injured. I just didn't report it. Now, I got the whole back of my leg here is tore up. It's trapped. Went through my boot. From my RPG. Damn. That's a rocket propelled grenade. Yep. No, uh, you probably play enough war games to know that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's how I, you know, I used to do that a lot. Used to be on the PlayStation and play the other games. I did that a lot. And the bad thing about that is it affects you mentally. Because you're reliving some of the combat experiences oh, that you really? you actually went through. Movies hard to watch. We were soldiers. Really hard for me to watch that movie. Uh, Hamburger Hill. Mm -hmm. uh, Full Metal Jacket. These are movies that are hard for me to watch because there's just too many memories. Full Metal Jacket. It was exactly what the Marine Corps was like in boot camp. There ain't no plan on that. What do they make y'all do in boot camp? It didn't matter if you was overweight or not. You had to physically do all the options. <coughs> and what happens if you didn't? I mean, they keep pushing you. You don't get no rest. You're constantly exercising and building yourself up. And they beat them back then. Got my jaw broken three places in boot camp. Yeah. What, what did they break your jaw for? Had my flame turned the wrong way and stack arms. So the, your like commanding officer came and just broke your jaw? No, it was my drill sergeant. Okay. Yeah. He took my rifle and hit me in the mouth. Jesus. Yeah. And you couldn't do anything back to him? What, what are you going to do? Right. Yeah, you could. You wouldn't make it to the next day. Because <laughs> the drill sergeant stuck together. You heard one of them, you got to get them all. Can't get one. So. Wow. I'll tell you what, it, it was, you don't know. No. I was on pistol range, the man next to me took a gun. That kind of People on the rifle. All kinds. Of Went to a grenade practice. Dude drops a grenade in the hole that they're in. I seen so much death in one year. By the time I was through my tour in Vietnam. I had seen a thousand people dead. Jesus. Yeah, and I was just now 18. Turned 18 in August. I mean, in July, I was in, in Vietnam by August. I left in August of 69. <clears throat> August, August. Why did you join the military? Because, why did I join? Because the Marines, First fight, my uncle was a Marine at Okinawa, mm -hmm. at the landing of Okinawa. Mm -hmm. 
I heard some stories and then I find out from the reels that the stories I heard were not true. He said he was one of two people who survived the landing. There was no body there to meet them when they landed, according to the reels. Right. The, 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 the pictures. The, when they tried to cross that line, there was a line that they had. That's when they got in combat. They never even opened fire on them until then. And then they lost a lot of folks. So yeah. I don't know why my uncle told me to fly, but of course he did. He was at Tawa. He was at Okinawa and he was at uh, Bougainville. And Tarawa and Bougainville were both bad landings where they took a, a lot of casualties on the uh, entering the beach area. I don't know, I was, I was always, my uncle was, was my hero. And I sat there and watched him die at the VA hospital. Uh, uh, what was it? Gene, that was my my white uh, brother. Of course, that was one of them. She had 16 brothers and sisters. Since we're around the country posting as like miners online and online message us from across the country. We're from Houston, but we just travel all over doing this. And um, there was an individual by the name of messaging us uh, who we believe to be a 13 year old girl. Um, he What's up, guys? You may be familiar with this, but we did turn him into Dallas PD. Unfortunately, uh, DPD did not show up to the scene. Um, no fault of their own. We did hear some shots in the area. Um, and, you know, it is what it is, sadly, especially in big cities. But we did turn it in. However, obviously, we need the footage. So, there you go. There's that. That is, uh, we did turn it in. Okay, don't worry about it. We did. We did. I promise you. Who <laughs> this guy is not somebody that we would not turn in. So, anyway, here it is. Yeah, we just want to turn it over and see if y'all can do anything about it. Or... Right. He's around order now. That's my number up there. What's up, guys? Here's the educational segment of it. So, as you see, this individual just got out of prison, and he is doing something that people could argue is a crime again, um, especially when it comes to Rex offenders. They have the highest recidiv recidivism rate of all crimes, and that's according to the .org. So I hope you guys are educated and you understand that always be vigilant when your kids are online and stuff like that because this is about online safety and education so anyway hope you enjoy the video leave a like and of course sub to the rumble so we don't have to keep doing this it's in the pinned comment it's free hey you see that that's our first international arrest in canada oh you see that that's our arrest in our 42nd state in Delaware. YouTube censoring channels like this left and right. If you want to keep this movement alive, consider joining locals in the pinned comment. You can see all of these uncensored, no filter, for only $7 a month. And you can keep this movement alive in spite big tech. The choice is yours. You can support the group that has an arrest in 42 different states in two countries. You can see catches like the fire lieutenant, which I can't post publicly until after his trial. You can see all of Stinghouse content that I think is too spicy for here, plus much, much more. Contribute directly to getting these people off the streets. Keep yourself entertained. Keep us going. Join locals. Pin comment.